Hello everyone, Zine and Zimmer here, and welcome over. Let's play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, we completed the game, and this time, see you all time. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only a fool. Remember, I was... These are not... The Count, but in... You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Your mind was too badly dead Once... This is where the branch happens. Listen to me. The dark side leads to death and destruction. I've seen the horrors the Sith have unleashed on the galaxy. Turn away from this path. Shut up, old man. Your time is over. The age of the Jedi and the Republic is no more. This is the age of Darth Revan and the Sith. Don't do this, kid. I don't want to, but I'll fight you if I have to. Even if it costs me my life. A true Jedi would never bow down to the Sith. If this is your decision, I have no choice but to do battle against you. Kill her. Rend her flesh. Show her the fate of all who dare stand against us. Embrace the power of the dark side. Yes, the sacrificial blood will consecrate this ancient temple in the name of the Sith. With the death of the Jedi, the rebirth of Darth Revan will be complete. And yes, we've fairly turned to the dark side. Stance is different, and Basil's back. She's still a Jedi Sentinel, so she's a joke. However, we have to fight these two. Oh, the Force fights with me! That's Julie dead. And he has all the gear. Also, we still almost somehow have this equipped. Yeah, don't equip it, because otherwise you will never be able to equip it again. We can't equip that anymore. But we do have. It's not really too great. This. That'll help, so... Yeah, but we can't really get that. We can give her that. And we can switch to... Interface Visor. You will have to disable the energy shield around this temple before we can leave. There is a computer here on the temple summit that has access to the power generator. You can also use it to disable the disruptor field that protects the Star Forge. Finally. Basil can have her lightsaber back. And we'll just... Alright! I've got a glitch. The wing Escape ship. I honestly do not like the dark side ending, and it's mostly because of killing Jahani. If there was a way to turn her to the dark side, I don't think I would have a problem, because while I like Jolie, eh, Jolie's just too precious. And there we go. So yeah, no, we have to... Okay, 
see you have dark giant robes. tell yeah those two are probably not going to be the only ones we're going to probably have to kill You're alive. I was worried about you for a minute there. I, w I was sure that we'd never see you again once Malik got his. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where are Juhani and Jolie been though? Are they okay? What happened inside that temple? What? Wait, what are you talking about? The Jedi Council has failed, Karth. Darth Revan has been reborn. Together we will destroy Malak and seize control of his fleet, then use it to crush the Republic. Johanny and Jo Lee would not swear loyalty to the new ruler of the Sith. They died for their foolishness. Now swear loyalty to Darth Revan, or face your own death. Wait, what? No. We serve the Republic. You are no better than Malak. We'll never swear allegiance to one who serves the dark side. Wait, Lord Revan. Karth speaks only for himself. He does not speak for the others. He may find he stands alone here. The droids will continue to serve you, Revan. They are programmed to obey their master. And there may be others who will choose to join us. The Republic is doomed. Revan has returned. Who will now swear loyalty to the second coming of the Dark Lord? You're Revan, and I'll follow you anywhere. It doesn't matter who you're fighting against, I'll be at your side. Mandalorians don't have any great love for the Republic anyway. Light side, dark side, it doesn't make any difference to me, Revan. I'll stick by you, no matter what comes. I saw what the Sith did to Terrace. Anyone who serves the dark side is evil. Big Z and I are with Karth on this one. Sabar, Revan's a Sith, just like Malak. It's not betrayal if you break your life debt now. No, Zalbar, I don't care. I won't help the Sith against the Republic. Not for anything. Not even for you. You don't have to help the Sith mission. Not while I'm here. I see now it was a mistake to let you go into that temple. And I, of all people, should have seen this coming. First saw Karath, and now you. Then I should be an expert on betrayal by now. No, but nothing you can say or do can make me betray the Republic. I won't join you, and I won't just stand aside and let you become ruler of the Sith again, Revan. Run for admission! Go! Go! Let him go. We have more important things to worry about. We have to get to the Starforge and kill Malak. Then we can turn our attention to the Republic. No! This isn't happening! It can't be happening! do nothing you'll you'll just have to kill me but i don't think you will i don't believe you've gone over to the dark side not totally i don't think you'll kill me not if i don't attack you first <laughs> Lord Revan, 
You were as ruthless as Malik ever was. Quickly now, we have to get to the Starforge and destroy the usurper. And that is the other reason why I don't like this. You're an absolute asshole. There's no way to put it. You're just... Ugh. The Republic fleet must have got the message Karth sent as we were crashing onto that planet. Maybe we can use their arrival to our advantage. If Malik is distracted by the attack, we should be able to get in close enough to dock on the Starforge and hunt the Dark Lord down. This is Admiral Fawn Dodonna to the Abbot Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Bastila Shan of the Jedi Order. We are receiving your transmission. It is good to hear your voice, Bastila. We had thought you were lost to us. Karth's transmission reported that Malik had taken you prisoner. The Jedi sent to rescue me from the Dark Lord did their job well, though I am sorry to report Karth did not survive the mission. His loss is a great blow to the Republic. We could have used him in this battle. We were about to pull back. We're taking heavy losses against the Starforge. Don't pull back, Admiral. You have to attack the Starforge now. Otherwise, the Sith will use its power to destroy the Republic. I'll try to press the attack, but we can't hold out much longer. Not unless you can use your battle meditation to turn the tide. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. Bastila's power could help you win this battle, Admiral. But it will mean nothing if Malak escapes. Destroying the Starforge is secondary to stopping the Sith threat once and for all. What are you proposing? A small squadron of Jedi Knights in snub fighters could penetrate the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Malak, we can end the threat of the Sith forever. I'll order the fleet to press the attack and provide some cover for your fighters. But what of Bastila and her battle meditation? Bastila, you and the Padawan should join us. We will need the combined strength of our entire order defeat Malak. As you wish, Master Vanda. And may the Force be with you. The fools. Even Master Vanda did not realize you've reclaimed your identity as the Dark Lord. The Jedi strike team and the Republic forces will provide the perfect distraction as we hunt down your ex-apprentice. And once we have slain Malak, I can use my battle meditation and the power of the Star Forge to crush the Republic fleet. All our enemies will be destroyed in a single glorious day. really he is the only one out of the whole party and even then we don't get cubes over you made it several Jedi ever we have to come on before they damn so much for catching them unprepared We'll deal with these Sith. You get in. Repair awareness. Accept. Well, ignore them. No point now.
Lord Malak. A team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Starforge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Starforges back. Lord Malak. You under... Of course. Okay, so this is still the same. I'm quite sure the next one will be the difference. The Jedi have invaded the Starforge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. HK is not caring. HK doesn't fear this place. They've got fear. So no, they did not change that cutscene. I would have, if I were them, I would have brought Basil. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's make this quick. That's a wonder if this is if this assassination protocol is actually that is actually broken. Quickly he's killing things. Generate customized Jedi robes. We only need two. Oh yeah, deactivate sentry guns. <laughs> I can see HK fighting the Jedi. And we'll get to keep the rest. That'll help. A lot. Ooh, that might actually not be bad for when I fight Malik. Grad! What this will give us will be better. Darf Revan's robes. We look like our old self. And that's the only compliment I can give. Oh. Ask. No, you're, you're not.
mercy. Mm -hmm. What can I do? I'm here. There we go. Finally. Cutscene. You summoned us, Lord Malik. Bastila has betrayed me. I must select a new successor to be my apprentice. One who will one day take the mantle of Sith Lord away from me. Of all the Dark Jedi that have sworn allegiance to me, you three are the strongest. One of you will have the honor of becoming my new apprentice if you prove yourself worthy. Tell me what I must do, Master. Anything. Revan is on the Starforge, looking to reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Wait here for my old master. Whichever one of you deals the killing blow to Revan will become my new apprentice. We will not fail you, master. Perhaps you will triumph, but even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Starforge. <laughs> we got a new boss. Destroy the fish. What can I do? Yes. 
the master and an even bigger fool to return to the starforge the only fools are those who still follow malak open your eyes and see the true lord of the sith revan has returned revan is nothing malak earned the title of dark lord by defeating his old master and now i will become malak's new apprentice by doing the same <laughs> Dark side path and the light side path. The Star Forge is under assault from the entire Republic fleet. If I don't use my battle meditation to turn the tide, Admiral Dodonna's capital ships will destroy the Star Forge. I have to stay here in the command center so that I can best use my battle meditation against our enemy. If I don't, the Star Forge will be lost. You must go to face Malak without me. Find him. Kill him, and reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. turning against us. The entire Sith fleet reacts instantly to our every strategy. Every fighter and capital ship attack in perfect unison. I've never seen such military precision. I have, but never from the Sith. It's almost as if... No. Bastila is using her battle meditation against us. What? Impossible. She's on our side. Not anymore, Admiral. I sense something different about Bastila during her transmission, but I thought I was only feeling the evil presence of the Starforge itself. I see now I was wrong. Bastila has turned to the dark side, Admiral. You have to give the order to retreat. I can't do that. This might be our only chance to destroy the Starforge. We can't withdraw. We can't. Then you will lose.
because that's the last thing we'll do. Let's prepare for one droid on the slot. Identity, Revan, but you have lost the power you once wielded. You are not the Dark Lord anymore. You are nothing. You are an insignificant speck. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. Well done, Revan. I was certain you are stronger than I thought. I was always stronger than you, Malak. That was why I was master. Once you were stronger than me, Revan. But as your apprentice, I surpassed you. The master must always be stronger than the apprentice. 
That was why I betrayed you. You were... you betrayed me from afar. You were afraid to face me, Mal. No. I was prepared to face you, Revan. But fate presented me with a better option. I saw my opportunity and seized it. The trap set by the Jedi only hastened my decision. If they had not attacked, I would have challenged you for mastery of the Sith soon enough. You knew I was stronger than you. You still know it. I cannot deny your resilience. You survived my first betrayal, thanks to Bas- You even survived my attempt to destroy- We have been in a- Once again. Now- Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become... A robot? One false. You cannot be... And what... on our quest for the Star Forge. I only followed in your wake. I tried to usurp your rule to steal the title of Sith Master from you. But now I understand. The destiny is yours, Revan. Not mine. You... You are Darth Revan. Lord. <laughs> Lord of the Sith. And I, I am nothing. Your 
apprentice has learned his final lesson. And so it ends, as I somehow always knew it must, in darkness. We've lost another capital ship. It's hopeless. All Republic forces pull back. Pull back! It is too late to retreat, Admiral. The Sith Armada has cut us off. There is no escape for us now. Then the Republic is doomed. is dead. All hail the return of Darth Revan, the true Lord of the Sith. All hail Lord Revan. All hail Lord Revan. All hail Lord Revan. The Sith bow before you. You have reclaimed your rightful throne. The Jedi Order is in tatters. It is only a matter of time until your Sith minions wipe them from the face of the galaxy. The Republic fleet is decimated. The core worlds are defenseless against us. That is the dark side ending. Quite better. But next time on Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's cheat time. I'll see you guys then. See you in the summer.